Hello everybody, Moin360 is here with a Power Director 12 tutorial, and this time I want to show you how you can add a motion blur, which is a brand new feature that's only available on Power Director 12 for now, and it's I'm going to show you how you can add it to a text or objects uh, in Power Director 12. So it's really cool, and um, I can't wait until I show you the um, how it works so I'm just going to get open power director 12 and is and then choose full feature editor and so yeah we're on our um, editing software interface right now and what you want to do to do a motion blur is first if you want to do the first way I'm going to show you, show you how to do it is uh, object so choose a object and bring it down to the second track and choose a um, an image or a video or a live video I'm just going to do nature this is one of their built-in ones and then um, I'm going to show you how you can do it so first you want to click on this the second track your object and then click on modify and then this comes up what you want to do is click on motion but before we can do a motion blur as you can see there is a new option for motion blur we need to add a path so we have to so basically how motion blur works you need to have something that's moving fast and um, that's how it works if you don't have any anything that's moving um, how are you supposed to blur the motion, right? You have to have motion. So first, I'm just going to choose this one. I'm just going to guess make the path. And then, yeah, make over there. And um, then just go down. And then after you've done that, just click on enable motion blur. And then you can play around with the blur length and the density if you want. But then we're going to show you how it works. As you can see, it's blurred, right? Did you see that? See? It's blurred, right? Yeah. So that's how you do a motion blur on a, um object. So it's really cool. Um, it allows you to blur the object and uh, when it's moving fast so that's really awesome and the next thing I'm going to show you is you can also do it with a text so basically choose a text um, from the title room I guess and then drag onto the first track and um, double click it or cl click on modify and then um, I'm just going to randomly choose a um, a font here so I can show you guys and then um, click on motion and then you want to again this is has the option of motion blur now but in order to have a motion blur you need to have something that's moving so right now the text is not moving so you need to choose a motion that moves a lot so I'm gonna do a roller coaster yeah, so that moves pretty good. And then um, go up to my your ending effect, because we also want to have an ending effect. Um, so we're going to have a motion blur on the ending effect and the starting effect. So that's going to be a double, bl double motion blur. So let me just go down and choose the opposite of uh, roller coaster. Yep, this one. So once we've got our starting effect and starting motion, starting and then motion chosen, we need to go down here and enable motion blur again, like we did on the objects. So you can, of course, set up the length and the density, play around the, those sliders, and then I'm just going to play it so you can see how it works. As you can see, it's blurry, right? It's blurred, right? And um, it's pretty good. And if we save it, um, well, I actually play in the um, preview window right here. So we click on play. As you can see, it's blurred, right? That's really cool effect, I believe. Um, if you go, if you want to use it as a title, since it blurs, 
Um, so that's really cool. So that's basically how you can add a blur in um, PowerDirector 12. And I forgot to mention this um, feature is only available in PowerDirector 12 Ultra Edition and above, so it's not going to work on the cheapest version Deluxe. So yeah, that's how you do an add a motion blur to a text or object in PowerDirector 12. Please stay tuned for more PowerDirector 12 tutorials since I'm going to make a lot of, a lot of those in the upcoming days. So thank you guys for watching and um, have a great day. Bye-bye.